Hello Aquarians and cross watchers welcome to your video so this is your afternoon quickie we're going to see what wants to come out here as usual I'm going to start off with uh, oracle deck I'm going to close out with an oracle deck and I'm going to use two tarot decks to see what wants to come out I've already said my prayers and I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed and I want to thank you for being here I want to thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me I value you and the divine values you and thank you so much for being here so let's see what wants to come out for today's quickie tarot I've been thinking about introducing a new type of reading um, you and the person strongest on your mind so let me know how you feel about that kind of energy I'll do like uh, two little sections one your energy one their energy Show me what I need to see. Okay. On the bottom we have between worlds. All right. So that means transitioning. Uh, so this might be a time where you're transitioning from whatever it is you're doing right now to the new something new. Uh, you might be aligning, all right? You might be finding a new work family. Or you and your family might literally um, be going in a new direction, okay? You see this is a, this is a, a family of elephants. They're going, they're together. Um, so, literally, you might be, there's a lot here to me for traveling. And there's a lot here to me for um, community, all right? So, you might literally be going you and your tribe might be going to a new community uh it could be local could be far away let's see what actually wants to come out and it, it can involve work as well okay um you might be going to a new place for work uh having a new work family um going into a new different neighborhood for that but there's a lot there about traveling and toward a new community all right or just sort of there's something that you're going to be doing Let's get to the tarot and we'll get more we'll get more to the story. Show me what I need to see. Nine card spread. Nine card spread. Community and by the book. So by the book also talks about doing things the right way. That's an interesting uh, that there's a family there, but I feel that you're also um, a good leader for your family, a good example. And I feel that you always think about your family, especially if they're if they're still living with you. There, you some of you might even be moving closer to family uh, if you're older and you've been away from family. And a family can be coming back. Family could be coming toward you as well. All right. First card out, I like it. It's the Empress. And so you are attracting. Whatever this is, you are attracting it. And that is also Libra Taurus energy. Seven of Crystals and Three of Crystals. So this is interesting. This, I feel like, um, if you have, because this call, this is dullness. And I know that I did a reading a while back about um, after a period of dullness, something comes in. And this is the energy of attracting. And then we have the card of creativity. Now in this deck, it's a Three of Crystals and it's called creativity. So you are definitely attracting something good here. And it's, it looks like it's a new direction, guys. I'm not going to, you know, it's, this is a general reading. Keep in mind, or it's a general reading. But two of wands, um, this talks about, in this card, purity. But it's a direction and normal, and, you know, it's like a path. But it also talks about purity of heart, right? So you, if your intentions you have by the book talks about integrity. Um, choosing this new path with uh, purity of heart, okay, and mind. We have the strength card, all right. It's kind of wacky the way it came out for me. Maybe you're not sure, um, Sage of Crystals, maybe you're not sure about this direction. Um, maybe you think you're even not strong enough to do it, or, you know, maybe, you know, it's like, uh, a journey and travel even maybe sometimes you might th you might think that uh, maybe you can't make the trip if it's like a you know literal trip and if there's any sort of health issues like I don't know if I can make this trip or not but um, 
So there's something with that, but it also could be just the ego. Sometimes the strength talks about ego. Um, it can just say, you know, maybe you're not sure about it. Because it, there is something about picking a path. You drew this to you. All right. It is a major change. We have death here with Scorpio. Um, I mean, Scorpio with death card. And with that seven of crystals and that three of crystals... You know, this is like an opportunity to move away from some heavy energy if you've been in this heavy energy, okay? If you've been in a period of not really doing anything, something's about ready to change with the chariot, and wow, here's the emperor. So there is change coming in, all right? There is change coming in, and it could be a new job, a new person. It's definitely a new beginning in the emperor, so it definitely can be a new job, a new person, um... Or it can even be uh, the, the government, all right? If you've been waiting on something from them and it's like, okay, your opportunity is here now. You've got the go-ahead. You've got the funds. You have the resources. Whatever this is, there's the strength card in reverse. Uh, well, it's not really reverse. I feel like there's just a question with the strength card, really. Now, um, another download that came to me with that is anyone who manifested for the Lion's Gate, because this represents also the lion's gate. If anyone rep, um, manifested something and that's coming in, you know, maybe it would come in quicker than you expected. It's something that you wanted, right? You attracted it. You asked for it. Um, but it, then when it comes in, it's like, uh, do I really, do I, can I do this now? I wasn't expecting it quite this soon. I even got that download for somebody there. So tell me about the Empress. You're definitely going to get the opportunity for whatever this is, but it looks like you're going to have to go into a new direction. And with the emperor backing this up, that's going to be the one who provides the opportunity, and you are the one who is going to receive the opportunity. Tell me about the empress. Ah, oh, catch the card on fire. Okay, listen. Nine of pentacles. It's more money. It's more money. You see how this person here has everything they need. They have a good book. They have security, financial security. They're living a nice life. So whatever this is, I feel like if you were looking for more finances, whatever this is that's coming your way or an opportunity, okay, you're going to have better finances. Um, and if, if you've been single and you've been wanting somebody because the empress can, or the emperor can be someone that you're going to marry. Um, and if that's the case, this is going to be a person that you want to be with, not because you need them financially or not because you need them because of codependency. It's going to be a person that you want to be with and you attracted them. Tell me about the seven of crystals. Though. Why is that here? Dullness. Empress again. So anybody in this yin energy who's just been feeling like lack or luster in life, listen, honeys, your life is about to change for some of you, okay? For some of you. And maybe, maybe you're worried about this because of all of, you know, I see the three of crystals. Maybe you're worried about... Um, something repeating in a negative way but i really don't feel that's the case tell me about the three of crystals yeah two of cups you're aligning with somebody you attracted them this is an emperor that you're attracting okay and it, it could you know two of cups it's a very good connection the whole thing is and you know maybe it's a maybe it's a leo or fire sign doesn't have to be but it has you and your thoughts here, okay? Because um, the body gets used to conditioning. The mind gets used to conditioning. We also get used to um, the familiarity, right? Even if we're in a bad situation, but we know how to live that, we know how to navigate that. This is like, you won't know. You know, the full car did want to peek out. It, it's like you wouldn't know. Where was the full card for the down? Yeah, it was 
the full card the emperor and the chariot were right here so this is four cups this is going from absolutely nothing doing nothing to this comes in quick and there's an opportunity but like i said it's got somebody here like strength is in reverse so tell me about that two of wands that's direction you might be questioning um this person so if it's a relationship with somebody you might be questioning if it could go down the same path as it did before okay um like repeating a pattern you could just be worried like if you're leaving a job if this is the right job that to align with okay anything like that there's some sort of worry with that the devil reverse but this is where it's saying okay this is purity and this is by the book so as long as you are aligned with tegnity a pure heart you're not going to make the wrong decision for yourself that's all this is saying when this when this opportunity comes in it just you just need purity of heart good intentions have integrity when it comes to this that's it that's that's all you have to do doing right by yourself um, you're not hurting anyone else if you're you know if if the situation you're in now you're not happy and you feel that this new direction will bring happiness for you and your family you're going to be a good leader in your own life also a good leader for your family you're not going to mess it up you're going to definitely make the right choice tell me about death card here that's this whole heart of this reading is about a major transformation which i've been picking up it's also pluto energy and we have the lovers here it's in reverse gemini energy so this is going to require a decision on your part it's a major change it's a major change and quite frankly you're not sure you're not sure about it because you have got the thing is is you know how to navigate the world you're in right now is really the, the basic thing so new something new can be very scary because you know how to navigate the waters you're in even if they're brackish even if they're they're not the waters you want to be in you you're surviving in those waters but here you've attracted this so that means it's good um, it also means it's going to put you into a, a way better state of being, okay? A lot more stability there. Tell me about the four worlds. You're going to even be able to save money or you're going to be able to whatever. It's long term. You see how this ten of pentacles, four of worlds. This is four of pentacles. This is ten of pentacles. That's 16 pentacles right there. And, excuse me 16 14 what the hell am i thinking it's 14 pinnacles right there and that's a lot of money that's a lot of savings that's a lot of investing but there's a family there so for some of you this is you're moving on with a, a relationship with a person that you meet for some of you it's a job and it's going to bring plenty of money for you you're going to have a reason to celebrate and i believe you're going to go for it you're just a little bit stuck here. There might be something left that you want to know. Something, there just might be something you want to know. And maybe it's a contract. You know, Page of Pentacles. Maybe it's a contract. There's a paper there. Maybe it involves a contract. doesn't have to be, but it, there might be something that you're trying to learn or, you know, um, like a, a piece of information. It's very small. Tell me about strength in reverse or kind of in reverse four of cups in reverse so yeah you are this is where it's at because i just heard there's no turning back once you do this there's no turning back i literally just heard spirit say that so like like i said you're used to navigating the waters of whatever it is you're doing now and you're really not sure um because if once you make this leap all right the full card <laughs> once you make this leap there's no turning back there's no no take backs on this no take backs you're going to be all in or all out tell me about the sage of crystals this is also fast you know we have the chariot on the bottom of this deck the sage of crystals is the knight of swords and it's very fast it's also learning so there is something 
um, you might want to learn about this, okay? No more, because it's going to be a big change in your life. So in other words, if somebody, you know, something comes along, it sounds like it's too good to be true, like it's a dream job, and it's like, can I get it in writing, you know, that page of pentacles? Can I get it in writing? Can we do a contract, you know, because I have to look out for my family here. I can't just sign on with you and not know that I have some stability. It's not just me. I'm looking after my family, or even if it is just you, it's like, you know, I, I, I don't want to lose my nest egg to go over here unless it's like long term, unless it's really going to pay off. So for you, it's all about the payoff, whether it's an emotional payoff in a relationship. You're not going to move in with someone, move out from somewhere unless you know where you're going is stable. So there's something that you want to know before you make this leap. You just want to know that your bases are covered. Tell me about narrowness, nine of crystals. So you want to really... You're really going to um, think hard on your future here because I feel that you're not expecting it to be what it is, but really you ran, you manifested it, you attracted it. You're not expecting it, and the whole thing about it is you don't want to make the wrong choice, judgment and reverse, because you really there's something here you need to know. If it doesn't lead to your stability, you're not going to do it. So there's something to do with your stability. You know, your, that could be your finances, your health. Um, you're not going to go from, uh, you're not going to go the next level in a relationship or be with somebody if you don't feel it's for the long term. So whatever it is that you're looking for, you know, health, finances, or relationship, there's something you're going to check into because it's, it takes and it requires a major change on your part. And you're really not sure if you can do it. You're not sure if you're strong enough. Because I'm hearing share. I'm hearing share saying, do you believe in life after love? But I'm hearing, I really don't think I'm strong enough, like from that song. So anyways, let's close out with a bonus card. This is a perfect card, you guys. It says assess the situation. And that's exactly what you're going to do. First quarter, moon and Virgo. Maybe a Virgo is involved as well. Or someone has it in their chart. But assess the situation. I couldn't sum it up better. You're going to assess the situation before you take a leap. But I can tell you the bonus side of this is you did attract it. So if you attracted it, it means that you most likely wanted it because the empress attracts with love, purity, and integrity. And that's what I that's what it's telling you to do, but you're in that energy. So anyway, guys, I love you. Thanks for coming to the afternoon quickie and namaste, my friends.